Oh, look where that we can go. Traffic's been dick today. Anyhow, it is, uh, there it is, Monday. It's 32 degrees, it's been overcast for days. However, I'm humoring myself with the Oakleys. Um, got up this morning, headed in, got both exams done. So now I'm three quarters done. Tomorrow's the easy one, astronomy. Um, probably, de definitely my strongest subject. Um, so that shouldn't be too bad. I think it's 50 questions, multiple guess, uh, old school Scantron style in class. So we're gonna do that tomorrow. And then the rest of the day today, I gotta put up Christmas stuff because believe it or not, 32, that's gonna be our 10 day high. We're going back down into the teens, overnight lows and the single digits, wind chills in the single digits. So that blows, but I'm um, gonna try to get that stuff done. Usually I would have done this, you know, two weeks ago, but two weeks ago I was on the beach in shorts and I'd rather be doing that. So we're playing catch up. I mean, December 9th, I always have this stuff done. Usually by the first week of December, we're well into the second week now, so I'm behind. I notice I keep hitting the uh, the zoom in button while I'm talking, so I'm gonna hold the camera this way for a while and maybe you can read the plate on this uh, V-dubs in front of me up here. Tampa. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. That's a KA, ladies and gentlemen. It's getting stronger. I'm gonna walk you through the process here. Here's how this works. So we get a KA. We decrease our speed by 70, I mean, uh, seven, two miles an hour. It's one threat ahead with low and increasing signal strength. All right, let's see what we get. We're in a 25, we're going 27, 28. Now we're in a 35, we will increase to 39, 38. There's 38, it's getting closer. Coming up on him. I don't see him yet though. We're going into a school zone here in a minute. There he is. There he is. Ha! Ha! I knew you before you were even freaking within visible distance of me. It's in macro mode. Why does it think it wants macro mode? We'll let it think. There we go. That's the only complaint with the cannon. It takes five minutes to focus. So the neighbors across the street beat me to it, but I got more light. Same story with them. And I've been out here since about, what, four o'clock? It's now maybe six. And we've done this. I uh, didn't go as high up on, the, on that tree in the middle right there this year just because it's too difficult to do. However, it still looks like a tree and you can't even tell that the actual tree goes higher than that. So I think that's fine. Um, I had to put an extra string on this thing here because one of them died. I did the uh, whole porch with the pine roping. I haven't gotten around the door yet. I need to buy 25 more feet of the stuff. And then I did those two bushes in front of my office. So with all of that, I think we're pretty much done in the front here, aside from, uh, again, the front door, which we'll do tomorrow. I'm not going over the garage door anymore just because it's too much of a pain in the ass. Anytime the wind blows, the stuff falls down, and then you go to start your car and go somewhere, and you can't because you'd run over all your shit, and you'd be dicked, and you don't want to do that for yourself. <laughs> hot water yeah so that just made winter a little bit better i figured out that to get hot water in my garage i just have to steal it from the washing machine right there and run a hose out the door and my gosh is it hot it's only 44 degrees inside i've steamed all the windows up i'm not even wearing a jacket my hands are nice and warm the car is super clean and nice and warm to the touch wow I've been going through hell doing this since I've had this car. Every single year I pull the hose out, the water's freezing, my hands turn red, I can't feel them, I'm shaking, I'm wearing three jackets, 
And my only consequence now is it's a little foggy in here. It's kind of like a greenhouse after five minutes of water usage, but it's quite comfortable. I don't think I'm gonna dry it off because I still have to drive it tomorrow and the roads are still salty as hell, but it's, it's a heck of a lot better than before. So maybe I'll just dry off the windshield. Well, you knew it. I dried the whole car because it was really easy. All right, I just found a tip with this. I don't think the temperature of the water should matter, but using the hot water, take the nozzle off the end of the hose, put it down low, of course don't touch your paint, and just let it totally flood over the top of the car. You know, like molecules attract, so the water kind of just falls off the car in sheets, leaving a couple little beads across the surface. But that, and of course it matters with the wax you have on your car, the quality and the kind, I'm sure, and the freshness of it, um, pretty much all beads up and falls away. So it's a lot easier to clean a bead here, a bead here, and a drop there than, you know, a 10 million little water droplets all over the place. So holy crap, I dried the whole car in like six minutes with that towel right there. Just one little, not even a thick one, green cotton bath towel. So I didn't dry the wheels because I don't care. I barely even soaked those. They're gonna get dirty as crap tomorrow. So that looks way better. I'm gonna straighten it out and put it back now. I think everything came out pretty well. That will be wired. Yes, it's lit when I go around the front door tomorrow because I need another length of greenery. Um, today was super productive. Got up, went in, got those exams out of the way. It's 12.21 a.m. right now, so it's not even too late. Got that done, stopped at the bank on the way home, came home, spent like three hours out there, pretty much finishing up the lights, aside from around the, the front door, which I said I'll do tomorrow. I gotta put the tree up still, probably this week. I kinda need somebody to help me move this couch though. I can do it myself, but I don't wanna bang up the floors or walls or anything. And then I gotta clean there and you know, and then put the whole thing together. So that's gonna be a project for another day. Uh, but this is done, I think I filmed the other day. So uh, tree and front door and then I'm ready for Christmas. Um, got the car washed. Looks really nice, got the lights done, got the emails done. YouTube, I had 20 something videos in my Watch Later playlist. Some of them were 50 minutes long. Some of them, the shortest one was like 21 minutes. Between yesterday and today, I have that down to 22 minutes, two videos, which I will easily knock out tonight. Emails are done too. So I've been playing hardcore catch up since I got home and I'm pretty much there, which is good. I thought it was gonna take a lot longer. So I've been doing some research now on MAFs, mass airflow sensors. <clears throat> I have reason to believe that mine and the M5 are original. I have no paperwork of their replacement and I have paperwork for everything else. It's possible that they were done and not documented, however unlikely, and I know I've ever, never done them. And I've driven the car 35,000 miles in three years. So even if they were brand new when I got them, I'd be looking at about time to replace. I ran the test on them, I think it's test seven at high OBC. You're supposed to get about 140. That's at sea level in good weather. So I'm not at sea level, I'm at 1500 feet and it's not good weather ever. So I didn't expect 140. Well, I only got about 115 to 120. So they could be robbing upwards of 50 horsepower and significant fuel economy too, which may explain why I used to get 20 city and now I get about 14. The driving style hasn't really changed, although I do let it rev a little bit more for the carbon issues around 1500 instead of 1200, maybe even 2000 sometimes if it's cool. So um, I'm looking into that. <clears throat> They're really expensive, <clears throat> which sucks. They're like a thousand bucks from the dealer. 
where I can buy the sensor without the housing for <clears throat> $345 for both of them. So I'm looking into that, trying to figure out how it's going to work. Christmas is coming up. I suppose that's good. I'll pull everybody together and say, nope, no clothes, no polos, no Rolexes, no. I was just looking at a $16.9 million house in, in Laguna, California. None of those MAFs. Yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm talking out the ass now. So I'm going to go upstairs, take a shower, get to bed, one more exam tomorrow, astronomy, then we're done. Then we're done. Then I get to put up a Christmas tree and put up more Christmas lights, and then we're really done, and I get to sleep. Talk to you guys tomorrow. Good night.